Huh? You have to talk to the mic. You to talk to Are the there? Mic. I do have to talk into the mic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's why you have a microphone to use it. <laughs> it's my first day. <laughs> it is. <a> <laughs> New behind the mic. Fair point. <laughs> do we have some people on the Zoom? No, in all honesty, um, my two main ones that I was hoping would come, Bethann and Keely, I know unfortunately can't make it. Bethann's on vacation in the UP and Keely's unavailable. So it might be us chatting, but they still use this and we'll have it after the fact. Okay. It's the way of the world. <laughs> okay. It is. We're, we're working on it though. And ready. Ready to go. I heard you, Jeff. All right, here, uh, Stacy Lewis, captain of the 2023 Solheim Cup team with a, a special guest there sitting to your right in Angela Stanford. Uh, Stacy, I'll kick off with you and uh, tell us why we're here today. Well, I'm excited to announce that Angela is going to be my third assistant captain for the 2023 Solheim Cup. And um, she is, or she was my first partner um, going back to 2011 and um, you know, I I wanted Angela to, there to be honest, but I knew I needed her to be ready, and she's had a lot going on in life, and um, just wanted her to be ready to put all her energy towards it. So, um, so there's a lot a lot of reasons I picked Angela, but um, but I'm excited that she's on board. You mentioned that she was your your first partner in 2011. Um, what was that relationship like growing over the years as playing partners, playing competitors? Both from Texas, yeah. both same generation-ish, um, growing up together on the LPGA Tour. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've, I, I've known her name for a long time, just growing up in Texas. And um, to get to play with her at my first Solheim Cup was awesome. I mean, I'm still mad she made me hit that first tee shot. But... Um, uh, but we can laugh about it now. And um, I just, I love her passion and her energy for the Solheim Cup. She's great in the team room with the girls. And um, and last week we announced, you know, the, the stats kind of program that I'm working on. And um, I think Angela's got a really good brain for that. And so that was honestly when, when I got this stats thing done, I was like, I need Angela. I need Angela on board. So, um, so I think she's going to bring a lot of good, a good mindset there and she's going to help me a lot the week of with that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, just excited for her. And also, it's also about the future, right? We're trying, I'm trying to set us up for the future of captains and things like that. So uh, just giving her the experience of seeing what I'm working on and how we're going about things behind the scenes. So, so that she's ready in a few years too. Angela, I know you were you were assistant captain uh, last year with Pat. You certainly got a lot of Solheim Cup experience under your belt. But what was your reaction when when you started talking with Stacy about the opportunity to be with her in Spain? Well, obviously honored. You know, um, I think the thing about Solheim Cups is I everybody knows how much I love a Solheim Cup. I love playing in them, but it's different when you get to be invited to be a part of of the captain's team. Um, not everybody gets to do that and it's, it's a huge honor and I'm extremely grateful that, that Stacy asked and, and she was right, you know, when, when she walked up to me the first time I was, you were not ready. I was not ready. <laughs> um, but, and, and, you know, I think that's what I learned in 2021 is that if you're not a hundred percent there, everybody, whether it's staff, whether it's assistant ca uh, captains, whether, you know, it's the players, if you're not 100% there, then then you're slowing us down. So I knew emotionally, you know, I've, I've had some things go on and, and I needed to be in a position where I was 100% committed and, and I am. You, you mentioned it, it has been a difficult year for you with the uh, uh, loss of your mom, which of course we keep you all in our prayers and our, our hearts, you and your dad. But what was it that that got you to the point where, you know, I'm ready to do this? Well, I think obviously just time, you know, um, initially I, I wanted to make one more team. You know, I, I would love to play one more team, but, um, you know, I, I feel like that, that, that really wasn't in the cards and, you know, that's okay. I, I do love being in the team room. I do love, you know, being around the ladies and, and being a part of the team. You know, I, I've said from my first Solheim cup, I mean, we spend all year trying to beat each other and now you're going to put the best players on the same team. 
I mean, if you don't want to be a part of that, then you're crazy, you know, like Mm -hmm. it's, it's the best week. It's our most important week. And I'm just, again, grateful that I get to put the colors back on. Stacy, uh, your team's complete now. You've got all three assistants around you. Now you got to build the actual team, the players team. But what was the process, your thought process as you worked with, with Morgan and Natalie and now Angela to build the group around you? Um, well, it kind of came together, I guess, kind of naturally. I mean, I knew right away I wanted Morgan. And then the other two just kind of came to me over time. And it was more as people kept asking me, who are you going to bring? Who are you going to bring? And it just it just kind of happened over time. It wasn't something that was set right in the beginning. I knew I wanted three different personalities and different than me, um, just so that kind of everybody on the team has someone that they feel like they can talk to easier and get along with, you know, cause we're, we're all, we're all different. And so we need to embrace that. And that's going to help me as well with just different personalities, different ideas, um, different ages, you know, kind of different points in their career. So, um, you know, I, I, I guess my big thing was I just didn't want three of the, or three more of me or three of the same people, um, to complete it. But I love the way it all came together. And, um, you know, now, now we're ready to get to work. We did have um, some people jump onto the Zoom, and I know Sarah's got some questions in the room as well. Angela, I'll go to you for one last question before we open it up. If you're on the Zoom and have a question, just use the hand raise function or drop me a note in the chat and we'll call on you. Um, Angela, Stacy mentioned the stats. We talked last week about KPMG is going to be jumping in with their performance insights. And I know working with you and, and Pat last year, it was it was spreadsheet. Now you're going to have a whole lot more data to jump into. Um, have you talked with Stacy about what that's going to entail and, and how excited are you to, to have more details at, in front of you now? Yeah, I mean, we're I think we're going to get into it now. You know, I think it's, you know, step by step. And once we've, you know, we made this. Stacy makes this announcement, we can start moving forward. But yeah, I, I actually really loved that last time. You know, I, I was keeping track of everybody's stats and, you know, I'm of the school that numbers don't lie. So, you know, if a number tells you something, there's a reason why that number is the way it is. So I think it's great that Stacy is going outside of the box here and, and she's, you know, I, I think that's the thing that I'm excited to be around Stacy because we've played against each other and, and yes, she is obviously still upset with me from making her hit the first shot in 11. However, and you pick, didn't pick Arkansas last week, so we need to talk about that. Yeah, um, but that was right. <laughs> so I, I look at it as I was preparing her for the grand stage. <laughs> um, but that, you know, I, I think the coolest part about Stacy is it one thing matters to her and that's women's golf. And she wants to do everything she can to elevate women's golf and her passion for the Solheim Cup, passion for just women's golf in general. Um, it's, you know, she, obviously she's being very thoughtful about everything and I'm excited to be a part of it. And and I am excited to jump into these numbers. Um, I do I do love looking at things from different angles and, and there's a reason why numbers are the way they are. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. We'll go to the room. I know uh, Sarah's got a couple questions in there. Sarah, go ahead. This is kind of one for both of you. I know you've both kind of watched each other become leaders in the game and, and going from your playing days in the Solheim. What's it like for you guys to both now transition to being leaders within the women's sport, within women's golf? Um, well, it's it's been fun. I mean, I think it's kind of been a natural progression probably for both of us, but um, it's for me now, it's just kind of learning to embrace it a little bit more and realize that, you know, these girls are watching us and um, especially the young ones. You, I kind of I've had more times in the last couple of years where I've been asked to take pictures after rounds with players when they play with you the for the first time. So um, so it kind of hits you there. But um, but like Angela talked about, I mean, I, I want to make this game better. I want to leave it better when I'm done. And, um, you know, I I always say, you know, we, ha- we have to take ourselves seriously for everybody else to take us seriously. And we have to do things differently. We have to do things the right way and, and look professional and act professional and things like that. So uh, so I just keep trying to push the bar and until people say no. And Angela, same question. I mean, you're, now that you're here especially. Yeah, I, I think it's something that you don't really realize until you get to certain points of your career. And, and I think you – I think a lot of <laughs> – I think a lot of people thought I was hard to talk to sometimes, but you know, I, 
when I'm on the course, it's just, it's about one thing. And, and I think now that I'm getting towards the end of my career, I want those ladies to have the same passion. Like, I want you to be out there trying to beat me and I want you to be out there trying to beat everybody. But at the same time, I do want you to do it the right way. You know, have some class, have some character and, you know, and respect this game that has given all of us so much. So, you know, I, I, th I hope that in the end of this, um, people see how much passion I have for whether it's golf or the Solheim Cup. And then just last one for me, mostly for Angela. I mean, to be able to announce this here, I know you had a two-hour drive in today, so get that. But, um, you know, being from this area, what does it mean to you to have this announcement made today in your in your home state? Well, I, you know, I'm an American, but I'm a Texan too. So to, to be here, and I was talking about earlier this morning, I think this tournament came back here in 2012. Is that right? And I remember thinking how cool that was. Like, I, I played high school golf here junior golf, college golf, and, and to get the chance to play a professional event in your hometown is, is a pretty big deal. So to, to get to announce this, the pinnacle of women's golf here um, in my backyard is, again, I'm grateful Stacy asked and just, I'm just excited to be a part of it. For me. Thank you. Sarah, and I think it's a good opportunity talking about Texas to pivot over to Nui Scruggs with uh, NBC5 Dallas on the line. Nui, you can uh, unmute and talk to Stacy and Angela. Oh, you think you're still on mute there, Nui. Let's see if I can get you undone. Mm -hmm. Ask to unmute. There we go. Thought I can unmute you myself. <laughs> I think. Come on, unmute. I want Edom to talk to you. <laughs> oh, try it now. No. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry, Nui. Technology. You, we've been doing this for two years. We think you'd know this. We think you'd know this by now. Tell you what, while we're trying to figure this out, because it should be working, um, uh, I'm, I'll pivot and talk Texas. Uh, knew we were going to figure this out, but uh, Stacy, we'll start with you. Uh, kind of a similar question. Yeah. Back in Texas, I know it's it's not the hometown Texas, yeah. but it's still the state. Uh, how are you feeling coming into the week? It's still close to me. I can drive here. I have my own car this week, so it's it is like home. And um, obviously, just love of playing in Texas. I mean, you just chipping off of the grass and just, it, I don't know, it just feels like home when you come here. And um, it's a great time of the year to be in this area. So um, I don't know. I'm just looking to forward to playing some better golf. You know, I, I want to play a little bit better. Haven't have played very good the last few weeks. So just trying to keep working on things and um, hopefully have a good finish this week. Angela, uh, this was the spot of your, your last win. Um, uh, last time you were able to, to hoist a trophy, I think that's always got to be good memories coming back to a spot. I know a bittersweet. You had, you had mom and dad there both with you. Um, but still it's got to be some good memories in here. Yeah. I think anytime you show up to a place that you've had some success, it's, it kind of feels comfortable and kind of like what Stacy was saying. I mean, it, it just feels comfortable. Even when I go down and play in Houston or, you know, anywhere in Texas, it just, you know, you're in your home state. So um, yeah, I, I, I love, um, that, that we get to play here. And, um, so yeah, I think it's going to be another great week. And, and like Stacy said, this is the most perfect time to be in Texas. I tell people all the time, October's it, and we're sneaking up on October. So, um, just a great, great time to be here. The Cowboys won last night. I mean, everybody is happy right now. <laughs> I'll say too, I mean, old, old American is keeps investing um in women's golf and they're they're making some great upgrades to this property and um to the clubhouse and the amenities so um it's just really cool to have a place like this that they really want to make this one of our best stops on the lpga so um it's cool to come back every year and kind of and see the changes and see the investment they're making just for us um so um so kudos to old american and thank you <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Nui. Looks like you're unmuted. Did you finally do it? Yes. Yes. Settings. Settings is an amazing thing when you go to the settings and you and you get it done there. I apologize. Um, Angela, when you come back here and play, what is that week like? 
in terms of you know seeing friends you're trying to do your job on the course but at the same time let people know hey i'm glad you're here I mean, take me through that well fortunately we've had 10 years now 10 11 years to do this i remember the first few years were really tough um, I remember getting off the airplane and, and everybody followed me out the door and I'm like, whoa, 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 nobody ever gets off and stops at DFW. So I think just the whole mentality of when I leave the course, yes, I'm going home, but it's also your, it's a tournament week. So it is very different. Um, I tell people, I know they get frustrated with me. I'm like, get me your ticket request early in the week. Like I can't be rolling up on Thursday, leaving you tickets like it's I'll do it. And, you know, it's it's great to have people out, but it makes it easier if I can just kind of knock that stuff out early in the week. But, you know, it's I I think it's a big deal when people get to see you play in person. You know, they can turn on the TV, they can watch highlights, whatever. But to actually see you in person, it's fun for us, too. You know, it's the more people we can get out here and, um, you know, you love playing in front of people. So. It is a different week, but I, it's awesome. Outside of a major, is this the one place you want to win? You know, in terms of just, you know, uh, hey, check things off. Like, hey, win a major, then, hey, I want to go back and win Dallas again. Yeah. I, I would say, yeah. yeah, I'd say both of us. Yeah, yeah I, I won on the other golf course and just, yeah, getting to win in your home state. You know, like Angel said, with all your fans, all your family there, I mean, there's nothing like it. I mean, I remember when I won, I, I gave my, it was at the time the trophy was the actual state of Texas on it. And I gave it to my parents and they took it home with them. And that's the only trophy that they have at their house is the one I won here in Texas, in Dallas. So, um, so it's just, it's really, it is, it's a special place for us and exciting. We get to play at home. Thank you. Nui, I'm glad you figured that out. It's good to see you and hear from you. <laughs> I have one more in the room. Oh, she she already cut you off. I didn't. I pressed nothing. <laughs> Angela, it, it, it's cool to see you, and and I've been so it's been it's been a joy to watch you do what you do. Well, thank and, you. And I you do it with so Well, I appreciate you jumping on and being a part of this. I I like for the the media around here to get involved. I'm trying to get my kids to get back into golf. They're there, you know, I got me. Well, my oldest has a golf teacher. He's trying to get her in the game. And I'm like, will you please do this for me? I know she, she likes, she's got a little bit of skill. I'm like, can I, I can go to the golf course and golf if you'll do it, but I can't go unless you go. So it's, Keep trying. So I'm just having girls, having girls and trying to get them to realize that not only is it a good sport to learn, but just it's a life skill. And there's just so many things that the, the, the Game of golf has given young ladies more than ever. That's right. Agree. <laughs> Thanks, Nui. Nui, can, Got it. can we put that in a PSA? Can we do something with that? We have you on camera. <laughs> Anything you want. Anything you want. I had my, had my girls in a pink tea program for a while. It was down in Dallas. They just hated the drive down there. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's just just the life skill and learning. And I just uh, I just want them to, to be able to do it. But I also just tell people like, you know what, when you have three daughters, the only way you can go golf is you got to take with you. <laughs> I know that. Absolutely. There's always a spot out on the golf course for little girls. Just ask any player out on tour. And, and Stacy, how often do you have? Uh, does Chesney still have that little plastic club? Oh, she has real clubs now. So we're, we're on to the real clubs. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Nui. Um, going back to the room, sounds like we've got another one there in the room. Yeah, I just have one more. Um, a lot of players ha from Texas have won this tournament, and, you know, we got two Texas Monday qualifiers. A lot of players from Texas mm -hmm. play in this tournament, so why do you think that is? I Honestly, I just I think it's the, I think it's the style of golf, um, the grass you're hitting off of, the types of shots you're having to chip around the greens. I, I think it's that more than anything, to be honest. It's just, it's very different. I think chipping around the greens is very different. Um, and, and playing in the wind, you're always going to have probably a little bit of wind here. So, um, but it's great to see. I mean, it's great to see the young, we got some young kids coming out of Texas that are playing really well. So, um, so it's nice to, it's nice to see that too. Yeah. Um, Angela, I'll just follow up with that. Do you think that gives you an advantage here playing out here, coming back? <laughs> Either of you want to win again out here? Obviously, yeah. you do, but I think it does. I mean, just because you're just more aware of, mm -hmm. like she said, the conditions or the grass and things that you don't have to learn early in the week. Like I know when I go to other parts of the country, there are certain shots you got to try to figure out. 
And this week you just, you kind of get to relax and you get to work on your game or whatever. And there's not those extra things that you're trying to figure out. And I, you know, I would also say the North Texas PGA, all the junior golf programs in Texas have, have always been outstanding. Um, and I think for, you know, my first part of my career, I, I was surprised that we didn't have a tournament here um, from junior golf all the way to college golf now. I mean, just, it seems like there are so many more women playing in, in Texas. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Em. Thanks, Nui and Sarah and everybody in the room. I'll just wrap it up by uh, saying to, to either one of you, I guess, Stacy, I'll start with you. Um, it, you've got your team now. You're ready to focus on the end of the season. What are you looking for over these next few weeks as we wrap up the season? Well, personally, I want to play a little bit better golf and make it to CME. Um, but we're working on lots of stuff um, for the players. Um, we'll really dive into the stats thing, I think, over the next couple of months. Um, we'll be coming up with a calendar for next year. Um, I think early next year is going to be pretty busy. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's hard to believe it's it's less than a year from Solheim Cup already. Um, it seems like just yesterday I was given this opportunity. So um, this the last – what's it been, seven, eight months, I've already gone by so fast. Um, so I know it's going to be here before we know it. And the hardest part is yet to come, you know, those picks at the end. So um, so I'm excited. Everything's, we're on track with what I want to do. So excited to keep moving forward. And Angela, finally to you, we were, when we were chatting yesterday, you mentioned you're really excited to, to take this overseas, that you've, you've had so much of your Solheim Cup time overseas, even your Curtis Cup was overseas. Um, how much of Stacy's brain have you picked about the trip to, uh, to Spain last month? Have you been to Spain before? And uh, just what are you looking forward to in the next year? I have been to Barcelona. Um, we haven't talked. We've Stacy was good about sending us um, – details on the course when she was there and kind of sent us videos and things. So, um, I think as that gets closer, you start talking about those, those things like Stacy has it mapped out and, and she kind of knows what we need to focus on and when, and, and yes, I am excited to go back overseas. Um, I, I don't know, you know, I've said in, in every sport I ever played, I always loved playing in the opponent's gym or the opponent's field, or I just loved it. I love that challenge. And, and I love that, you know, everybody's cheering against you. And I just, I, I absolutely love it. And um, so I'm excited to go back over and um, it's, I, I can't wait, can't wait to get started and get going. Awesome. Well, I think we'll wrap things up. Thank you both. Uh, excited for what's to come, but most importantly, well, first, good luck this week. Enjoy it. And uh, we'll be talking. You're stuck with me for the next year. So we'll be talking a lot. Thanks, Nui. Thanks, everybody on the line. Appreciate it. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye.